In our CEO call today, Asia has been forging closer ties with Latin America, but there are challenges as Asian companies look for more products and services from that region rather than just resources and raw materials, the traditional markets. Now, for more on that changing relationship, we're joined by Susan Siegel, President and CEO of the Council of the Americas. Now, she is here in Singapore for the Latin Asia Business Forum. It's into its third day here. Great to have you with us today, Susan. Thank you very much. Great to be here. You know, we said in our introduction that Asian companies are increasingly looking beyond raw materials, resources, looking for products and services in, in, in new areas from Latin America. What do you think has, has prompted this shift? Well, I think the region has gotten a lot closer with communications, investment, um, more Latin American businesses interested in coming out to Asia, and more Asian companies going to Latin America in its initial stage in search of raw materials, mm. energy, and food, soya. Mm. So that has brought the relationships closer, and that, I think, will drive the relationships in the future. Mm. Susan, let me try and explore this. I mean, uh, a couple of other guests we've had uh, on from the forum earlier this week were saying that, uh, you know, uh, one of the big themes is probably going to be uh, Latin America. Uh, it's a huge need for, for infrastructure build-out. And, uh, you know, the capital out here in emerging markets in Asia and expertise, construction companies, et cetera, that might help them to do that. I is that going to be a big sort of theme going forward? I think that is the biggest theme. Yeah. Latin America is infrastructure short. It is capital short. But as you said, it is also technologically short. So as a competitive matter, if Latin America cannot build out the infrastructure, you look at a place like Brazil, you go north into Brazil, they have an infinite ability to produce soya and food, but they don't have the infrastructure necessarily to get it to the ports. Mm -hmm. So today, for a Singaporean or an Asian company to go to Latin America and build state-of-the-art technological infrastructure is an entirely new and interesting mm. proposition and probably the most important thing that Asia can bring to last well, America. One of, the, one of the things that struck me, uh, especially if you look at the politics of oil, is uh, that Venezuela has been slowly but surely uh, strengthening its ties with uh, Beijing, with the Chinese. It has been a controversial development since it's really seen as a, as a move by uh, Chavez to reduce, to turn away from the US and uh, move more towards uh, Asian economies. Do you see that happening more? Do you see that furthering, further uh, uh, broadening and tightening of the nexus between Venezuela and emerging economies uh, in, the, uh, in this region? I think that uh, many Latin American <coughs> countries, including Venezuela, are trying to strengthen um, ties with um, Asian countries, China, uh, being a key market for all Latin American um, countries. But at the end of the day, the United <coughs> States remains the largest trading partner of Latin America. Mm. And we shouldn't forget that what the oil that Venezuela produces is heavy crude. And the largest refinery for that heavy crude is in the United States in the company that they own of Citco. Mm. Are you worried at all about rising protectionism in the U.S.? I mean, uh, we've been talking a lot about the delays in the pending U.S. and various Latin American FDAs, you know, getting their approval. And do you think that those delays and rising protection in the United States side might uh, force Latin American company, companies and countries to look further to Asia as a result? Well, I, I worry a great deal about protectionism in the United <coughs> States, and I worry a great deal about the three pending trade agreements. I think we'll see the passage of Peru uh, before the end of the year, and I think the passage of the Panama and Colombian trade agreements will actually flow into 2008, but I'm confident eventually um, they will get approved because strategically they're very, very <coughs> important to the United States. But I think there's an overall trend um, by Latin American countries to try to diversify their trade flows and not be dependent on any one region. <coughs> you look at a country like Chile, which is probably the most successful economy, even though it's small in Latin America, and their trade flows are really a third, a third, a third. A third destined to Europe, a third destined to Asia, and a third destined to the United very States. Well balanced. All right. Susan, just out of time. Great to talk to you, man. We'll have to uh, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Susan Siegel, there, President and CEO of the Council of the Americas. We're half.